Click the start button right here at the bottom left corner of the screen, right here. And so, from now, you are going to type backup. So now type backup, and then you click on where it says backup and restore, right here, where it says backup and restore. So click the start button, type backup, and then click where it says backup and restore. So once you do this, this window should pop up. And now, don't click where it says backup now yet. Don't click here yet, don't. What you want to do, you want to click where it says change settings first. Okay, so now in this screen, Windows will ask you where you want to back up your files. In other words, what source you want to back up your files on. And as a recommendation, it's always best as you know, to back up your files on an external hard drive and these are pretty cheap if you don't have one you can easily find one at the store at a very affordable price and most likely you have one in your house and also you can also use a an external a USB flash drive to back up these files on so very simple so after selecting a destination after choosing the destination the path click where it says next Okay, so right now, Windows will give you two choices. You can let Windows choose which files you want to back up, which is best, because Windows will, ba will back up your most important files. This option is best. Or you can choose yourself. You can choose yourself. So in this video, we are going to choose this option. Let me choose. And then after choosing your choice, uh, click Next. All right, so if you choose a second option, you should see this where you will see a list of file path. And this in bold right here is the main user account. And if I expand the string right here, I will see more I will see more locations. For example, I can back up the files in the documents, the music, pictures, videos and so on. And if I click additional locations I will see even more such as a desktop and a downloads folder okay so you, right now you can pick and choose which places uh, which files that you want to back up okay but if you don't want, if you don't have to go if you don't want to have to go to all of this mess then don't choose a second option let Windows back up your files for you because by default it automatically back backs up all of this so don't worry about all of that so after doing this click next and then click save settings and exit all right so once you do that then now you are going to click on where it says backup now so once you click backup now windows will back up your files so as you can see it is that easy to back up your files on Windows 10. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.